welcome to Rory Models Kit Review Time. Today we got something a little bit special. We've got the limited edition Eddard 172nd Hind. Now this is a dual kit, so it's a dual combo, so you actually get two model kits in this one. Now we know these are the Zvezda um, Hinds, which are probably, if not definitely, the best 172nd Hind kit you can get on the market today. So they've done the usual, they've gone completely over the top, and they've given us all the goodies and everything that go with it. So you've got here a very impressive box. As we said, this is a limited edition, so and I believe it's 500 units so these are going to sell out like well if not already uh, but they're going to sell out extremely quickly so either you're going to build it or you're going to have it as a bit of a collector beautiful box art on the front as you can tell uh, we've got the markings down here for the check ones it's going to be a theme okay some of you hear the thud <laughs> some of the fantastic markings we've got down here i'm not going to try and pronounce them but as you can see we've got some beautiful stuff around here dating from anywhere from what do we got 1981 is that the earliest uh yeah i think 81 right the way through up to uh last year for un markings uh, down there as well for the MI35 variant as well as something a little bit different I assume we get the decals for it as well for the little car okay so that'd be quite interesting so you got your kit number for this one is 2116 as I said it is a limited edition one okay and you can hear something flopping around inside here well, we'll get to that in a second because as we said you're actually going to get two of the Zvezda uh, MI24 DV variants and the MI35 kit okay we've got a 132 page book in there all about the hind which would be fantastic we've got the photo etch sets and paint masks for it we've also got the brazen nose as we can see down here okay and we've got a couple of pylons and this is the flyer and chaffet bucket that goes on the tail as well uh, we've also got cartograph markings for 14 options okay so yeah absolutely fantastic and a 70 second scale volorect vehicle kit so we even do get the car in there as well so in the kit as i say i could tell there's a book going around here i honestly haven't looked in here at all so that's what we've got we've got a box within a box which is i don't know i was slightly disappointed there if i'm honest to get a box inside a box but hey ho so what we'll do is um obviously we've got two kits so we don't have to go right the way through so we've got the bits there we've got this guy i'm just trying to make sure we don't wreck any of this now and we get that. That's what I could hear banging around in there. That is beautiful. Right, now, to be honest, this isn't my kit. This is our very own John uh, on the site's kit. So what we'll do, I'll tell you what, we'll do the book last, uh, even though I want to look at it first. We'll have a look around generally. So what we've got here, beautiful booklet. Okay, so usual thing with them. Okay, so there we go. So we've got the photo etch set, as we know about, it's down in here as well. We've got the resin bits, we've got the kits and everything else. Now remember, we're going to get two of everything because you can make two actual hinds out of this. So as you can see, usual thing, we've got the seats and the various bits going down in there, as we can see like that. The strengthening into the cockpit tub, all the various areas for the cockpit area, the rear bulkheads into the main compartment. Showing about all the photo etch, which you're going to have to, which is the great thing about this kit. It's going to be a beautiful, if not the definitive hind uh, absolutely fantastic also with this guy as well which is really nice about this kit is you do get a lot of the actual hardware inside as well so we've got down here the actual gearboxes uh the shafts and everything else like that down in here a lot of the hydraulic systems uh, all for that top area okay and right the way through so we say we've got the cabin area and then obviously all of those parts being in there right the way through to a very nicely detailed engine as you can see and this is what we were saying this is why this one is even better than the trumpeter kit that obviously we've built in 135th because we've got a lot more detail going down in the said areas great details down here as well as the cockpit making full use of the photo etch as you can imagine and then same way about putting all the details in for the internals remember we have got marsex for this okay this is the resin it comes with a complete new resin chin underneath there obviously making sure it is for the versions that you're doing and your lumps and bumps it's the only thing that you're going to need to make sure of pick your marking option you're going to do the aircraft option you're going to do and then just keep an eye on the guide uh, as you make your way around again all of those internals being put in so we've got the actual cabin area the crew compartment and then even you've got the rear stowage area as well those are all being put in okay i'm ready to get the fuselage halves together 
Moving on further forward, more photo etch, beautiful color, full color detail uh, instrument panels for the cockpit as well. Again, making sure you're doing which version you're doing here. So you've got the Hind 24 or the MI35, okay? Dep depending on which version or marking options you're going with. Right the way through to, okay, all the different areas going through the gunner site down here for the tail rotor the transmission area things like that depending on which ones you want and again very much for the sights uh, and everything else pylons again we've got some nice details going down in there very nice indeed and then the cockpit glass being fitted onto the instrument panels the wings being put on the disco light uh, and all the rest of it Okay, then we've got the photo etch stuff, which is very nice indeed to see this. Uh, as I must admit, I got some beautiful reference shots uh, last year when I got to, uh, personal with a hind uh, about this particular set, which is actually like an afterthought. It's strapping, metal strapping, which holds the flare and chaffet uh, buckets underneath. Again, lovely bit of photo etch right the way through, which makes it fantastic and beautifully in scale. Putting together all the front end and the covers for the engines, the cockpits, the windscreens, all the various bits and pieces all going down in there like that. The gear system being fitted on, okay. Then we've got all the weapons, and as you can imagine, some nice details going in here with a little bit of photo etch, a little bit of wiring work. You can pretty much put up any type of weapon uh, system you want onto this one. More flare buckets, okay depending on which way you're going to do it okay and then obviously the front end the gun the various site uh, targeting systems being put on board and then all the lumps and bumps and everything else you can imagine going right the way through in again lovely work with the doors all of those areas right the way through okay as you're going in the rotor head assembly is say it's quite complex all of those parts all being put in there just like that and eventually you end up with a very nice hind doesn't stop there obviously two of those so you've got two kits so you're going to do two of those and then you've got this is a lovely little after one here we've got a three-wheeler so we've got the car quite basic but obviously it's a lovely little design just to have it down in here especially if you're going to do it in for the tiger meat markings as well beautiful work all of that guy down in there and then obviously you're going to paint it up in the tiger meat markings as you can see okay this one is obviously talking about the mast sets various things so we've got canopies wheels um, and then obviously again for the car as well which is a nice touch and we've actually got the ones for the uh, rear part uh, and underside again on the hind okay and then into these beautiful markings and this will give you a nice run through of them as i say i'm not going to try and pronounce them for a second but it's beautiful with the tiger meat ones as you can see some very nice stuff down in here as well bang up to date really uh july last year for the uh oh i thought it was the uh, un markings it's not just in the gray and the uh light color underneath very nice stuff okay right the way through one from riat uh, a couple of years ago now, which I had the pleasure of seeing this guy fly in Riyadh as well. Very nice hat, it's got the RF roundels onto that uh, for the celebration, right the way through. If only, we'd love to have them. Okay, again, tiger markings, very nice. Something a little bit different all the way through. Beautiful, this one. This was obviously the option on mine when we were doing it, but we elected to go for something a little bit different. Okay, and again, Russian ones. More check ones, nice to see tiger mouths on them. Again, beautiful work right the way through. Just pick out the one you want to do and you are good to go. Bang up to date with the MI 35s and 24s. Stencil data, as you can imagine, all the way through on this kit. Lots of it, depending on which version you're doing as well. This is the V, this is the D type, and then I assume on the back here, that's it, we've got a little bit more down in there like that. Again, it's a big, thick booklet on that. Very nice indeed. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the smaller parts. So just down in here, as you can see, we've got a little bit of photo etch. Very nice, just down like that. I'm assuming, in fact, that might be for the car. That is, that's actually for the car. Beautiful little touch there. Okay, and then in here, we have, we'll get in all of this, without totally destroying it. We have got all the bits down here. So obviously it's duplicates on the photo etch. So as you can see with that one, some very nice photo etch down in there, just like that. Very nicely done. Then we've got another set of that. Okay, we've got the cockpit with the instrument panel, just like that with all the black details in there. And I'm just looking for, that's for the MI35. I was gonna say, there must be a difference between the two. So that's the MI-35 one, and then we've got the one here for the MI-24, 
Okay, so we've got both types down there like that. We've got the actual chin turret, the resin aftermarket one. Okay, let's get some of these small parts out. So, starting off with, as you can see, very nicely done. I must admit, we do love the resin stuff. The detail, the riveting, and everything else in something as small as this little piece of uh, resin down just like that, really nice. Down here we've got the actual flare and those chaff buckets, lovely little holes right the way through in here, that's really nice, and another one. And then we've got the mids and the rears as well, one of the sensors on the front, and two of those, so that's really nice details. Very nicely done. Okay, let's just pop those back in there so we don't lose any. Okay, we've seen those, we've got the mask set, Again, duplicate masks, so we've got two in there, there's actually enough to do two. We've got the decals, which is a huge decal sheet. Okay, what I'll do is I'll try and be clever here. If I can get in here, come on. Very tightly packaged. Okay. And there is that decal sheet, absolutely fantastic. Beautiful registration. At the end of the day, it's Cartograph, um, one of the finest decal companies in the world. Beautifully done, just the quality of these. Fantastic, the shark's mouth. And all this stencil data, beautifully in register, uh, which is a, the alignment is fantastic. Beautiful, clean, crisp color on all of those. Okay, we just try and get this back in there. And then just down in here, we have, again it is separately done, we've got the one for the car. So this is the actual decal sheet for the car itself. Beautifully done, little check markings down there for that as well. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, and we can put that over, keeping that all fresh and tidy. Okay, we saw that afterwards. Right, so down in here, this is the car. As I say, it's a nice little bonus part down here and we've got the clear parts as well. Very tight in the old zip bags. There we go. So this is the actual car, one sprue. Actually, that's beautifully detailed. Very nice textures down on the roof, everything else like that. And considering what it is, and with the wheels, as I say, the reason they're open is obviously got the spoke wheels, which is this guy. I don't know why we've got two, but we've ended up with two photo etch sets standing there again. Very nicely done, beautifully done. Again, something just a little bit different. Or if you wanted to, you've actually still got the uh, parts down here in clear to do the wheels, but obviously you'd use the photo etch. Okay, very nice. Something a little bit odd, a little bit wacky. Uh, we like all of that. Okay, let's get that together and out of the way. Right, so down in here, we do get two kits. I'm just working out which way they've done this as if they've done it as a complete separate or as a not. Now it isn't a sealed bag, I'm just seeing if there's a way in here, it doesn't look like there is. So we know these kits are, as we said before, the Zvezda kit, which are really, really nice, okay? So if we just start off with this little sprue here, Again, the level of the detail on these kits is absolutely fantastic. The riveting detail, the just the literally how fine the engraving is. We were talking about recently in scale effect and how riveting to make it in scale when you get down to 70 second, how you can't really see it. Good example of this because it's not over rev, uh, riveted anywhere, but it's got all the panel lines, which have to be some of the finest panel lines I think I've ever seen. Very nicely done on that one. Really, really nice. Again, it's just that level of detail and the level of care uh, during the design and the molding and everything else like that. Beautifully done, very nicely done on that. Uh, next brew up, we got this one, whilst we're just here, which is obviously the weapons bit. So we've got the guns, the external fuel tanks, the rocket pods. In here, we've still got molded in. We saw them as in the resin, but also we have got some injection molded ones as well, right the way through for the rocket heads and everything else. A little bit ejector pin heavy, but again, I don't think it's anywhere that will matter. The cockpit, as we know, which of these parts up here, it's gonna be full of photo etch and everything else in this scale. I think it's totally practical. The only thing I do notice, it's quite soft plastic. 
very much a, a sort of softy, softy touch plastic. Okay, and then down on here, as you can see, we've actually got, I can probably move that other camera in just a little bit. Okay, so generally just looking around, again, the fineness of all the molding, the parts, the sprue gates are very, very small. And when we say small, we mean like really, really small. Some of the smallest ones I've ever seen, which is a nice touch because you don't want big things holding on. But just up here, you can probably see how small those are. Beautifully done. But again, the details don't look too bad at all. Maybe a little bit soft on the edges, but generally pretty crisp all the way through. Just the details perhaps around the rotor, uh, the actual center down there on the tail rotor, not as sharp as perhaps you'd be looking for. But generally, just down in here in the chaff buckets in the rear, you can probably see them, catch them in the light. They're fully detailed. The wings, again, this riveting detail, is, uh, sorry, uh, panel line detail is fantastic. There is no riveting detail in it though, but as we were saying, we think when we're into this scale, you don't really see it, okay? Again, the pylons, the undersides, the actual um, tow missile launchers, things like that, the actual uh, covers, for the uh, sand filters, uh, everything else like that, right the way through to the actual main rotors themselves. Very nicely done indeed. Very soft plastic though, that would be my only slight concern. Again, ejector pin heavy, but it's not on anything that matters. It's not on any small parts uh, or anything else like that. But again, we've got access covers. You can see them down in here. They've got obviously the rivets uh, for those the actual buttons for opening them up. Uh, and everything else, but everything else very, very nicely done. And the main rotor head down here doesn't look too bad at all. Very nicely done. And we think, as you can see down here, there's a slight lean uh, on the sprue with these running down the back at this point, is obviously where the rotor has got natural sag molded into them. So they're gonna hang correctly, which is another nice touch. Okay, so fuselage halves. Obviously looking at this guy up here, you can see really nicely done. We've got some discoloration, but it's not a sink mark. It's close to a sink mark, but it's not quite there, but everything else really nicely done. Again, no riveting, but we've got all the panel lining in. That's what we want. Again, the details down here for the actual, the gearbox system, uh, running up to the rotor head and everything else. The floor, beautifully detailed. You catch it in the light there. You can see the recess right the way through to the sound thing on the roof. Nicely done. The wheels, two piece which is what I like to see. But again, I love the way they've done the gates on these. Really nice to see them all. Very good indeed. Right the way through the exhaust, one piece. Again, just gonna be case taking them out. Right the way through to the engines, as you can see over here. So again, nice detail, good start point for the engine. Not gonna take much to liven that up with a little bit of good painting, a little bit of wiring perhaps, and you're good to go. On the inside, Again, no problem with ejector pins anywhere. Got a little bit of detail over on here. This will be the sort of the roof uh, looking down uh, onto it. So the engines are gonna lay in here and all the rest of it. But yeah, really nice indeed. Some nice touches on that one. And then again, same on the other side. So down here, we've got this panel system for obviously putting different versions in and everything else. Then right the way through the floor, the seating, all of these areas, very nicely done indeed. Again, all the small parts, tiniest little sprue gates, which is very nice to see. No real sign of flash either. I'd, I'd be expecting to see flash and there isn't any real flash problems. Odd little parts have it, but none of the small stuff. But right the way down to give you an idea of the scale, we've actually got the control yokes uh, down there under my hand. Might be a bit easier to see it. Should have thought of this on the mat. Okay, right the way through. to just down in here, these are the actual intake covers okay right the way through or not covers but uh, uh, door areas okay right the way through to we actually get crew which is a lovely little touch which I wasn't expecting but we've actually got a gunner and a pilot multiple part for seating and then you can obviously move the hands and everything else like that right the way through just like that got the APU uh, intake as well goes down uh, above the engines really nice indeed but generally I have to say the quality is right there. It looks to be a stunning little kit. It's gonna take you a little bit of work, but let's face it, it's what it's all about at the end of the day. So, down in here we have the clear parts, and again, these are very softly molded, and if I'm honest, I've got a tint of yellow on this. I can see it, I don't know if you can see it, probably not on camera with the white lights. I've got a slight tint of yellowing into the plastic, which is what we were saying is not normally a nice sign. Okay, but again, everything's clear, everything's sharp, 
There's a little bit of distortion in all the plastic. It's not the best we've seen for clear parts, but again, into the scale, I think it is totally uh, usable with no problem at all. So also, this kit here, I assume is just the same. That's gonna be another one. And then down here, we've got the slightly different sprue, which I imagine is gonna be for the uh, MI35. Slight difference on the front end. Okay, and on the cockpit and everything else like that. This is just what I'm assuming. I could be wrong. It doesn't say it on the sprue. But again, just down in here, it's got a slight different um, few differences. I'm just trying to see where it is exactly. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be showing it on there. But we've got this one down here as well. Some nice stuff. This is that side door panel that would go in that door on the side. Rocket pods, seats, pylons all the other pits again more crew we've got another pilot uh, stroke gunner figure just down in here which is a nice touch and as i say really nice for the rocket fit generally i must admit i'm extremely impressed it is a lovely little kit not normally by scale to be honest but definitely one i would work with the other big point is this now this john has assured me he doesn't mind me opening it which is good because i'm about to Okay, John. No, I want to say I won't do that. Let me just try and get in here. Well, he said he didn't mind opening it, if I remember correctly. Okay, so. Any of you know when I did the uh, Hind big build, we did a huge super build with the Hind uh, a couple of years ago now, I had a fantastic book. And also that was from John. John's a bit of a Hind freak. Okay, but this is what it's all about. Hopefully you'll be able to see it down in here. I might have to just move that camera out again. Hold on. <laughs> but as you can see, we have a very nice high book. I won't crank the spine, honest. But you can see this actually looks extremely like the book we had as a reference, which I can't remember what it was called now, but it looks to have a lot of the same pictures Okay, and hopefully you might get some detailed walk around, but at least we've got some beautiful pictures of the said aircraft that come in this particular kit. Got some nice good reference shots for the weaponry system. Again, it's really hard to get good quality hind reference books. But this looks to be one. Okay, it's not doing a full walk around, but it sort of is, if you know what I mean. There's areas of, but again, some of the most famous colours and markings and everything else and what makes the hind so special. You can see some fantastic ones just like that. Lovely shots of the weathering right the way up to the sort of alien-esque one. And that's the one we were talking about that was at Riyadh, uh, which is a Royal Intash Wear to two here in the UK, which I go to every year. Okay, getting some nice internals as well, right the way through. I'll see the Russian one. And there we go. There's the car as well we were talking about. Fantastic job on that one. Some nice pictures. Beautifully done. Very, very nice. Again, it's always the thing. Eddard really have filled a little niche in the market where we're all like it. You, you buy a kit. Um, maybe it's been around a little while uh, and you want to buy some upgrades for it. But it's always the point, what do you do? What are you gonna go for and all the rest of it? So you do your research and you think, okay, if you're like me, let's pick out the areas that could gonna get the best bang for the buck. Color photo etch cockpit is always a winner. Okay, a little bit of resin, perhaps some resin parts, weapon fits, things like that, just to liven things up. But then you have to go on a hunt for it. But Eddard recently have taken the best kit of that scale. So in this case, definitely the best Hind 24 that is out there. Okay, and then married it up with their stuff. So they've got their resin front end for it, their actual color photo etch sets, uh, and obviously their normal photo etch sets as well, and put it right in with it. But they've gone a little bit further this time. This time, again, you've got more markings than I've ever seen in any of their kits before, and a big, huge book. Now this is, what, 100 and, did we say, 27 pages? 132 page book color beautifully square bound all the rest of it down in there as well which you can use for your references and as a lifelong compartment you know book holder 
bookend, whatever you want to call it, okay, and everything else like that. So it's definitely one of those things that makes this kit stand out head and shoulders above the rest. It is limited edition, I think it is 500, and I know for a fact that one of my sockets I know that I deal with and everything else couldn't get them because they had already sold out and everything else like that. So if you are thinking about it, you do see it, I would highly recommend grabbing one because if I could find another one, I'll be grabbing it too. So there we go, that is Eddard's uh, 172nd Hind Collection, which is using the Zvezda kit with all the goodies, a highly recommended.